Greatness is already inside of you, bro. Greatness was instilled at you in a, at a young age. Greatness was already instilled in all of us. The greatest potential, our greatest potential, it was already installed in us when we were even an idea, a thought. A wind came through and it shifted us. The world tries to tell you that you can do whatever you want, right? But then you got some people who tell you that you can't be all that you, you hope and pray to be. We were made to be great. We weren't made to be any less than what we were supposed to be. We all came in the world with the mindset that we are the same, that we are the greatest creations. You know what I'm saying? We, we came in as examples of how Jesus is. We're supposed to live like Jesus, right? We came in with this potential that we can work in God's vineyard, that we should be all that we can be for him. So he may be able to use us, but do you think you're the only one that is lacking in confidence and in potential? Because I'm here to let you know, everybody got the same potential. Everybody got the same capabilities. We just all have different lives and different paths and different journeys and different situations that we all have to go through. And all these situations that we have to go through will shape us to be able to have our greatest potential. But you have to break out of this barrier and this mindset of that you can't coincide and coexist with everybody else's potential. Because everybody else's potential is the same as yours. You just had a different path. You're just at a different place right now. You're at a different place in your life to where you feel like maybe, mm, I should be way farther along. I should be, or maybe you feel like you shouldn't be where you, like maybe you're all the way back here and you wanna be over here, but something you did has caused you to stay where you are. But at the same time, you have to realize that you yourself have the power along with God's help, but God mainly, you can be your greatest self, the greatest in whatever you do, whatever you put your mind to. It's gonna all start with your relationship with God, but at the same time, it's gonna it's gonna start with yourself and your mindset and your work ethic and your your trust and your faith, bro. Because all of all of us, we were born with the greatest capabilities, the greatest tools, the greatest different talents and gifts. And sometimes we fail to realize what we have. Sometimes we fail to realize and think that we don't have those capabilities. I remember when I was younger and I was singing and I was in my class and people would tell me like, man, like you have a gift to sing, but you also have a gift to talk. And you have a gift to, you know, pronounce and to elegantly talk amongst groups of people and to articulate yourself and to express yourself. And at the time, I'm like, yeah, I'm younger, but I'm like, I mean, thank you, but like, you know, what am I, what am I gonna really do with that? And as years go on, it gets more and more appreciated by those around me. And something I continuously think about is, why did God bless me with these talents and capabilities? And some other people may have may not have them. It's not that other people may not have them. It's that they haven't tapped into them yet. It's that you haven't tapped into your greatest gift. Jesus is the greatest gift that was on the cross. But we're talking about individual talents that God blessed us, each and every one of us with. And I'll let you know how I was able to tap into my gifts. And I may have, I think there's have a bunch more gifts that I haven't tapped into yet. How you tap into those gifts is to search yourself, to sometimes separate yourself. Sometimes you're going to have to talk to God about it, do some research about it, kind of take some time and learn yourself a little bit more, learn about 
what makes you you because on a regular day basis we learn something new at least we should be learning something new about ourselves but at the same time we have to take our time with ourselves because every day we're growing as people we have new thoughts we have new ideas we grow in all different types of aspects size weight mentality spiritually physically a bunch of different different factors and if you want to have if you want to know your greatest potential your greatest capabilities you have to look to the lord first you have to talk to god about it first because once you do that you will unlock your full potential just like kid gohan did just like krillin did when they were on namek that unlock full potential even though Gohan had a way greater potential than Krillin did Krillin is still the strongest human being in Dragon Ball Z if y'all watch Dragon Ball Gohan unlocking Beast Gohan super, during the Cell Saga the strongest Super Saiyan the strongest being on the planet at the time as Super Saiyan 2 Stronger than Goku, stronger than Vegeta, stronger than Piccolo. It's up to you. You have to look within yourself. You have to look within and break your limits. When I was in the weight room today, with me and my, so me and my boy, actually my mod, right, on my Discord. We went to the weight room, we, we, we worked out. And today, you know, I, put, I think I pushed past my capabilities. And I unlocked another avenue and aspect of myself that I didn't realize I had. Especially with my strength, my physical strength. But not only was my physical strength put to the test, my mental strength was put to the test. Because how much longer could I really lift those weights, right? Because at some point the physical body is going to give out. But your mentality is going to carry you through. And that's why I always talk about on this channel changing your mindset when God says and I conform to this world to change your mind and make it of godly things and a godly mindset I'm not saying we're not going to fall short I'm not saying that we're not going to often sometimes turn away from how God wants us to be but we have to be willing to be more faithfully strong we have to have more we have to have a stronger bond with the Lord because with him, he will show us our greatest potential. We will unlock our greatest potential. But I hope you enjoy with this video, man. I appreciate you for watching. And as always, God bless, bro.